So how'd you get the name? Um, so I grew up Mormon, and that's like a, that's like a thing. That's like hell, essentially, is spirit prison. And we were looking for names for it. Yeah. And uh, we came across that, and I was like, but yeah. She was like, damn. Yeah. And so we just decided that was, like, that's a good name. We decided that was the one, and we just went with it. How about the first song you ever made? Uh, the first song I made under the spirit prison name was called Flashbacks. She helped me out a ton with that, and really with all of the music. Natalie helped me out a whole bunch. She does all the art. I did. So that was the first one I did for that, but I played in bands and stuff. What were your bands you played in? Uh, I was in a band called Celestial in St. George, and then I was in a kind of like a surf punk type band in Salt Lake called Prozac. Yeah, there's a, uh, you said Prozac, right? Yeah. There's a rapper from another country called Prozac. Oh shit, really? Yeah. Damn, that's tight. He's pretty cool. Hell yeah, I'll have to check that out. What was your first CD you got, first live show you went to? Um, let's see, the first concert that I went to that was like a big concert was fucking, I was 12 years old, and I wanted to go to a fucking uproar festival in Salt Lake really bad, so my dad took me from St. George to Salt Lake for that. And then the first CD, I don't really remember, it was probably some like big CD of like a bunch of like 80s shit from my dad or something. But the first CD I remember buying was fucking Panic at the Disco CD actually. That was the first concert I ever saw. Oh fuck yeah. Would you be Charlie Brown, a Barbie character, or at least a Frank character? Charlie Brown, that shit's nice. How about play Russian Roulette, play Hands, or play True for Dare? Uh, Russian Roulette sounds the most interesting out of all of them. And how about a record label you wish you were signed to? Oh man, um, damn, I don't really know any labels for this kind of shit, but like, I don't know, when I was making other music, I really fucked with like Deus Records, they're yeah. tight, they do a lot of like goth, like synth, uh, synth punk stuff and like stuff like that, so, shit, probably that. <laughs> and let's say there's no more cash, what currency would you want to pay in? Bitcoin, tokens, poker chips, bottle caps, gumballs, disc, micro flip USB cards. Damn, I'm going gumballs. That sounds tight. I can just play gumballs all the time. I'm into it. And would you go to uh, Agent City, Alien Civilization, Atlantis, or Private Island? Alien Civilization. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah, for sure. How about your worst fear? Oh, man. I have a lot of them. <laughs> I'm afraid of a lot of things. Yeah? Um, I don't really know if I have a word here. They're all kind of up there. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Like, what's one of them? Um, damn, uh, I don't know, not being happy. That's, yeah? That's a shitty one, yeah, not being happy. Like, not being a what? Not being happy. Yeah? That shit sucks. My songs are all sad, but I'm like super happy. Yeah. The songs are just like, that's how I work it out. That's how, I, that's how I've gone to the point where I'm at. And let's say you die, what would you want made in your honor? A pyramid, a blinged out tomb, or a monument? When I die, just throw me in the trash. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want none of that shit. I just want to like, just light me on fire and do something cool. I don't know. Yeah. yeah I don't want a monument. Yeah, you know, um, what was it? I talked to Fish and Art and, uh, I, I was I was asking him a question and he said he wanted to be rolled up in a sage. There you go. Uh, what would you rather have made uh, if you could have like a product? A food, a soda, a juice, a drink? Damn, a soda would be tight, honestly. Like, you just make your own soda. That'd be super fire. I'm into that. Or like a sparkling water. What would it taste like? I don't know, I'd have to think about that one for a while. <laughs> like, would you invent a new soda flavor, or would it be like... No, I'd invent something new. Okay. We, all, we all invent new shit. Okay. 2019. Okay. And do you think it'd be okay for house pets to have grills? <laughs> for, for pets to have yeah. grills? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. That would be awesome. I wish our rabbits had that. Our rabbits, we could get them a little grill for the front. Yeah? That'd be fire. What are their names? Uh, we have Psyker. He's the oldest. Then we got Laylee. He's got this what? really beautiful hair. Yeah. And then we got Cholula, and he's just big and dumb. And we love him. <laughs> yeah, they're great. And how about would you uh be a fast food mascot, the Geico Gecko, or Kool-Aid Man? Damn. Kool-Aid 
Man's pretty tight. He can just like break shit. Yeah. It. Yeah, I'd be the cool Asian. If, if you met your idol and you could only get an autograph or picture, what would you choose and why? Uh, probably an autograph. Just, that's like, I feel like that's just more like meaningful. I feel like when you get a picture, it's really cool and it's fun to be able to like post that shit and show people like, hey, I met this person. But having like an autograph is really just like, you know, you get a look at that. You have yeah. to always not just like a little bit too. And would you be a memory card, a SIM card, or LCD screen? I'd be a fucking PlayStation 2 memory card. <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be fire. Would you, uh, would you rather be friends with Three Stooges, I Love Lucy character, I Dream a Genie, or Be Witch character? Damn, I don't watch that shit, so I'm just gonna say Three Stooges, because that's the one out of all that shit that I've yeah. watched. Yeah. How about be friends with Mr. Rogers, Pee Wee Herman, or Bill Nye's Science Guy? Bill Nye. And Mr. Rogers, honestly. But Pee Wee Herman, I'm iffy about that motherfucker. Yeah. That guy's weird. I met him, I met him. Really? Is he cool? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Damn, hell yeah. He seems pretty tight. He did like that thing where he jacked off in the movie theater. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, you gotta get your nut, I guess. So that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, he's a wild guy. Yeah. I mean, I'm into. Yeah. Would you be a Looney Tune character, regular show, or Adventure Time? Regular show's tight. We'll go with regular show. And how about play a show in Space Station, Hell, Heaven, End of the World, Underwater, a mall, or the Playboy Mansion? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of uh, refries. Alright, appreciate it. Thank you, Mitchie. Thank you.